In this lesson, we will learn about the various types of lines used in aviation drawings and their purposes. It is not all-inclusive of everything we need to know on the topic. Additional information can be found in Chapter 2, the General Aviation Maintenance Technician's Handbook. Lines mark the boundaries, edges, and intersection of surfaces. They also show dimensions, hidden surfaces, and indicate centers. There are three widths of lines, thin, medium, and thick. The different types and widths of lines make it easier for us to interpret what is intended in an aircraft drawing. Visible lines are the most commonly used line in aviation drawings and are a medium weight solid line used to depict visible edges and boundaries. Hidden lines are medium weight dashed lines used to show edges not visible in that view. Center lines are alternating long and short dashes used to show the middle of a symmetrical part. Extension lines extend a short distance from an edge or side of a drawing to indicate where, where dimensional measurements were taken from. Dimension lines are fine, light lines with an arrowhead at each end to show the measurement of a main object line. Additional instruction on the drawing of dimension lines can be found in Chapter 2 of the General Aviation Maintenance Technician's Handbook. Here we can see examples of extension lines and the various types of dimension lines. The cutting plane line is the plane that cuts through a component to create a sectional view to show internal details that cannot be seen from the outside. It is like cutting an apple in half. Phantom lines are used to show alternate positions or the relative position of a missing part. Break lines are used to omit part of an object so that the representation will fit on the drawing. A leader line is a thin line used to connect a dimension with a particular area. It may also be used to indicate a note 
or comment about a specific area. Section lines are used to show differences in types of materials or exposed surfaces. Here we see some examples of different types of section lines showing different materials. 